Hey guys what's up so as you guys know that uh, I've got this Sony TV and I've always made an update of the software so this is a new software update which is out and it's really really important to get this software update it'll improve the boot up time of the telly it irons out all the bugs and everything so it's really important that you get this update done I'll put a link in the description below now let's go ahead and uh, just update it it goes through the same process this is uh, the Sony uh, Android TV KDL 43W 809C all right guys once the update is done I'll run you through the features then I'm just gonna turn on the telly I'm just gonna head home and show you the layout for the Android marshmallow so this is basically the layout and after this firmware update I can feel that it's gone much more smoother it's much more faster and snappier now if I were to even scroll through the menu you get all these different options as well different channels to watch like UView, Rakuten TV, your BBC obviously BBC Sport and so on and uh, apart from that in the apps you have uh, the album program guide um, you got Google Play and uh, other applications from Google and then uh, you have these inputs which were pretty much standard and uh, there was a problem uh, in the previous software update that was not connecting to the Wi-Fi but this software update has improved that problem so if I were to click one of the feature apps so I'll just go to love nature and click that as for before uh, it was very very slow so I feel that in this uh, software update uh, the applications are opening up much more faster so finally I will go into the settings and I'll show you what software version do I have Android security patch level which was released on the 1st of August 2017 the build last keys are 925 which is the latest version so it's 601 is the standard marshmallow software update but 3.925 is the latest software update and as you can see it's for the Bravia 2015 model and going on for the X series the X80 the X85 X90 and so on then it also resolves an issue with the YouTube 4k playback and lastly it resolves an issue with hard drive not detected while recording your TV in standby so guys this was my review for the Sony TV if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions just let me know and I'll reply back to you so guys catch you later in my next video bye for now